Hello everyone and welcome back to a short EP review and in this video I'm going to review EP by JPEG Mafia. This new EP of JPEG Mafia is a compilation of all of the songs he has done in 2020. One thing I can definitely admire with JPEG Mafia is how consistent he is with his works. In a short period of time he's already released lots of material, not only for himself but also being featured in numerous projects. Which is definitely something admirable, especially considering how much of an experimental figure he is in hip hop and that most of his stuff would have quite some attention to detail with the sense of production and the whole structure. However, I sense a bit of a downgrade as we get into the newer stuff from JPEG Mafia. Like for me possibly the best thing he has in his discography is the album Black Ben Carson which was kind of low key but was such a pure and raw experimental hip hop project. Veteran was kind of overrated in my opinion. It definitely had some amazing bangers to it, so many tracks that were just amazing, but for the most part some of the material he had would just be really short and kind of feel unfinished for the most part. This failed to become even more of an issue in my opinion with his later project All My Heroes Are Cornballs. This album was such a mess and not that much in a good way in my opinion, for the most part it felt so sort of pretentious in some occasions, like it was trying so hard to be chaotic and I also don't really love his newer approach going into some more R&B stuff and using more of an autotune in his voice because when it comes to his more autotune stuff it doesn't sound really that special or that experimental, he just sounds like another typical rapper and it doesn't really work in my opinion, I much prefer him when he goes into his is more aggressive stuff. So over the years I kind of lost interest with what JPEG Mafia has to offer and in my opinion with some of the later stuff he has with all of the singles he released in 2020, in my opinion it actually makes for some of the most underwhelming stuff he has ever done. Now this EP goes chronologically with when the tracks were released, so we start with Bald, which in my opinion it's actually a really good song. This is definitely without a doubt the greatest thing out of this whole EP. This instrumental over here is really interesting, it definitely has some nice elements to it. I also like some of the drum and bass breakbeats in the background, the delivery from JPEG Mafia is really solid, it's not a track that blows my mind, it's not like that much of an amazing track in my opinion, but it's definitely quite decent and I think it has also a really interesting structure to it. There is also a bold remix which features Dezel Curry. It's more of the same, there's not really something more or that special to it, but we have a really lengthy verse from Dezel Curry, who in my opinion kills it with his cold bloody delivery over here. But this remix actually makes for the other highlight in this EP, because the rest of it, it's just so uninteresting in my opinion. It's a series of singles that sound so unimaginative and so forgettable that don't really fit for being singles. It's obviously treated like a compilation so there is not consistency in this thing whatsoever. We have the track covered in money which in my opinion has a really promising introduction. I like the first half of this thing, it's kind of aggressive, it has a really nice instrumental to it, but then you have this beat transition towards the second half and it basically ruins the song with this really weak instrumental and JPEG Mafia's voice just filled in autotune and this thing doesn't sound that good. In my opinion this gets even worse with the track Bodyguard. Like this track sounds awful, the instrumental is lackluster and I definitely cannot stand his voice over here. He sounds so much like just another typical rapper who uses such an excruciating amount of autotune, there's nothing special about it and I cannot believe that an artist who has made so many great experimental bangers would end up doing something like this. This is not a good track in my opinion. Cutie Pie is such a forgettable track, I barely remember anything about this and yeah, I don't find that there is really 
that much to it. It's kind of low key, but it's really short and there's not something that much to it. I would say the same with the track The Bands. In my opinion, it starts kind of nicely, but then it just feels like another sort of forgettable song that doesn't really lead to anything special. Rough 7 featuring Tommy Genesis is such an annoying song and it's such a shame because I think that this track actually has one of the better instrumentals over here. Instrumentally this track sounds really cool but I cannot stand the delivery of Tommy Genesis on this thing. It's like she tried to just sound as annoying as possible and I never found Tommy Genesis to be all that special but this is by far her worst delivery. I don't like her inclusion on this track at all. JPEG Mafia kind of saves it, he goes into a bit of a more aggressive delivery over here, but it's still not something all that special. And then finally we have the quite short living single which in my opinion has all of the issues I had with the track Bodyguard, another lackluster and forgettable instrumental and another annoying delivery filled with autotune, an approach that in my opinion doesn't work that well. So I find this collection of the singles he has done in 2020 to be kind of underwhelming. Actually some of my least favorite stuff I've heard from JPEG Mafia. With each new release from him I get more disappointed. I still find that there is potential but for the most part with what we get with his newer stuff he has definitely decided to go into a different approach that it's just not that much for me and that's all about it. I'm going to give this EP a 5 out of 10. What's your opinion on this EP? Like it? Dislike it? Why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.